guys, Jill here, and today I have a tutorial for you with some fun things that I've had around for years, and I was poking around and I thought, oh, this will be perfect. What I'm using is my melting pot, sorry, it's kind of out of frame, I'm going to leave it there, and another Ranger product, which is called Melt and Pour, and it's these two pieces. And when you mix them together in equal parts, you can make a mold. And I have several molds. And then you can just take your your UD. And what I have in my melt pot right now that I forgot to turn on, but well, okay, is some white and a little bit of the interference blue. And the interference blue just kind of adds a nice little touch to it. So what I was doing was way back when, when I went to Ranger U with Suze Weinberg, of course she is the queen of beauty, the ultra thick embossing enamel. Sorry, I don't think I said its full name. And it comes in all different colors. And over the years they've added in colors. Well, one of our things that we did was the melt and pour. And we we used different kinds of molds that we made. Or like this one is a mini donut pan. And this we used a few different melt pots and poured in, you can kind of see like streams of colors. That was super fun. And Sue's made some necklaces out of those and we got to use her pan. Another thing we used was paper molds. And these were the Arnold Grummer paper molds for casting, like, for little book covers and stuff. And again, this is UD and just a mix, some remnants. We also used a lot of Sousa's findings. And she, like, had this, I can't remember if it was a big bag or a big box or something, just filled with stuff that we could use, like figurines and buttons and charms. And, like, this one's a cameo. And so here we used one of our colors that we dyed with the to dye for. And then I went over it with some rub and buff. And now I have an extra cameo. I'm going to do, this is my little cameos that I love so much. So I'm going to mold one of these. Here's a white cameo. Here's like a really cool elephant I molded. I mean, she had some really fun stuff out. These I really like. And it's hard to see the detail because I used clear that day. And, you know, you use it up. Today, I'm working with some white that's coming along pretty good here. It'll be done by the time we're done molding. And, like, this one is an entire face that we molded. And I know many of you have seen a lot of these molds around and it's funny because Suze was saying, I think it was Suze, that she brings it with her places. And if she sees something she really likes, she'll mold it. And these molds, they take like 10 minutes to dry. And once you have it, it's yours. It doesn't hurt the image. It doesn't stain it, anything. So I'm going to show you how to use the mold, how to, how to make it because it's a readily available product. And here's something I want to show you that I did today. These are covered in hair, cat hair, because <laughs> they're sticky on the back. <laughs> I'm going to hot glue these down, so I'm going to remove that adhesive that came on these. But these are those Recollections Boutique Fleur Floral Embellishments. And at mine, this color went fast with the 50% off sale that ends today. And there were some really bright colored ones, but you know, I wouldn't have hesitated to get those when I had the melt and pour. And I, I don't remember, but I think that this is sold at Michael's. Okay. So there's the ones and here's the ones I made and I made the other shape also. Now I didn't get the petals quite perfect and I'm going to, experiment with coloring them. I'll show you what I come up with there. But how cool is that? Now I can make my own. And with Yudi, little known fact that Tim showed me, 
you know, Tim Holtz, when we were up at Ranger U, is you can color your UD. Don't ever drop color into your melt pot, but you can actually color your UD before you put it in the melt pot with alcohol inks. So just, you know, get a container, mix it with alcohol inks, and then you'll have colored UD. So I'm going to mess around with some of those flowers. Okay. So here's two molds that I just made today. And here's the molds that I made in 2004. So they don't go bad. And actually, this is from 2004. The, as long as you don't mix them together, you're good. Once you mix them together, they make a hard mold. Okay, so let me... Oh, and like this button, I used her mold, and I'm going to make my own mold of some of these. This was a, a brooch or a button or something. Okay. And then also think you can use your buttons. You can use your Tim Holtz findings. I'm going to use some of my charms because those things aren't cheap. And then this was a little mold. No, this was a stamp, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, so here's one I just made to show you guys. Mixed it together, popped a button that Elaine, Silly Frog Honeybee, sent me. And look, I just molded that button. Okay, so let me show you. We'll, we'll do the little cameo. So we're not going to need a lot. Okay, so again, it's in two parts. I'm using my cool tools and my... Uh, melting pot is steaming today. I've got some UD stuck down on the bottom. <laughs> and um, whenever you're working with something like this, open your window. I have my window open, so if you hear people yelling out there, that's my neighbors. <laughs> um, but you know, just use your judgment and, and open some windows and, and have a well-ventilated area. So for the cameo, it's really small. So we're only going to need a little bit of this stuff. As long as it's equal parts. And you just play around with that. So let's cut off that. Now from here you can mold it together. We're going to mix it together. I like to kind of chunk up the bits with my, my spatula. Okay. Sorry about that. That's my neighbors out there. Oh, charming. Okay. So now you have your little bits of your mold. So you have your white and your blue. And start smushing it together. You don't want it like that at this point because your, your bits aren't mixed. And I've bought some off-market stuff. It works, but the off-market one doesn't blend as well. It kind of hurts your hands. So the Ranger one really, really makes a difference. Look at this one. And again, the molds are still good. They still work. It just wasn't as easy. Okay, so see how that's all the same color? Now I'm just going to roll it in my hand. You want to form a steady base because you're pouring into this. And I'm working on my nonstick craft sheet, and I'm actually just going to smush it. For this one, we don't need it real deep. And then just take your cameo, your whatever, and stick it in there. Now, you can work the sides up as you want. Because remember, you want your UD to go in there. Yay, my UD's melted. So let's turn down the heat a little. It's awfully steamy today. Okay, that's it. That's your mold. You're going to set that aside for 10 minutes. Hold on, I need to... Okay. Now, to actually, let's look at this button that I just molded. Once again, this is all dry now, and it looks the same. It's just you can tell that it's ready to be peeled up when it's no longer sticky. So again, there's the button. Beautiful pearlized button. I want to use some pearl UD one of these times. Let's switch to the spatula. Okay. So I'm going to mix my UD around. And again, it's the white and the iridescent blue 
much. Not a lot of the influence from that blue. So let's just put a tiny bit more in there. And when you put it in in little tiny bits like this, here, let's see. <laughs> it, look how it dissipates really fast. So just a little bit more of that iridescent. I'm a spiller, so I'm going to put the top on. And the nice thing about the melt pot is if you get little extra bits, whatever, you just drop it back in and look at that, it melts right back in. Isn't that cool? And you can do the same with that like this. I dropped my UD lid in it. I'm going to remelt it. And this is one that I let yellow a little bit. It was clear. Okay, so once again, everything's all mixed together. See that? Let's go ahead and pour a button. Just a little bit. And then again, everything that dries on our craft pan, all of this can go back in. So look how perfectly that little button formed. Okay, so again, here's some that I molded today from my Recollections flowers. I didn't get all of the petals in, but like this one, you can see there's more in there than you think. And like I said, here's that elephant. Really cool. So there you have it, melt and pour. And like I said, it comes like this in a, in a wrap, shrink wrap. And I've had this since 2004, and I, I still have a generous amount of everything. So, you know, you just mold the things that you want, save yourself some money on your embellishments, or you can, you know, really go for the big ones like, like her face and get yourself some cool things to add to your work, make your own molds. And I do believe that you can use these with clay. I'm going to research that and I'll let you know. So there you go. Thanks for watching and have a great day.